purpose of the experiment was to compare rows and cystus as acid-base indicators. It was also to find the approximate pH of four household items using the flower pigment indicator. Materials needed. 12 petals of rose and cystus, 30 milliliters of ethanol, 10 milliliters of solutions of different pHs, small samples of four household items. Put 12 petals of each of the flowers in the ethanol and heat on hot plate, mixing occasionally. When the petals lose their color around 7 minutes, remove the beaker and take out the petals. Put 20 drops of the pH solutions in the test tubes. Add 10 drops of the indicator to each test tube. Observe the change in color. Put 10 drops of the cystus indicator into the samples of household items. You find the approximate pH of this substance by comparing it to the colors of the substances of the known pHs. An indicator is a dye whose color depends on the acidity or basicity of a solution. It itself is a weak organic acid that is a different color than its conjugate base. If the pH is low, the concentration of H3O plus is high, so equilibrium is to the left, so color 1 is produced. If pH is high, the concentration of H3O plus is low, so equilibrium is to the right, so color 2 is produced. Anthocyanin, pictured above, is a pigment in red, blue, and purple flowers. It is pH dependent. It has a carbon structure with hydrogen, hydroxyl, and methoxyl groups attached to it. The molecule has various sugars attached to it depending on which flower it is found in, and there are R groups which are variants in different flower pigments. So why does this pigment work as an acid-base indicator? Well, because as the pH changes, the structure of it changes. Hydrogens are either donated or taken from the molecule depending on the basicity or the acidity of the solution that it is put into which changes the structure, right, either H is added or taken away, which changes the energy levels of the molecule, which changes which colors are reflected off of it, which changes the color that it appears. Above is the flavillium ion, which is like anthocyanin, but without an H. It has lost a hydrogen. So this is what happens at pH 3 or lower, um, and so it loses a hydrogen and the energy levels change, so it appears to be purple, red, or orange. The opposite of this could happen as well, where it gains a hydrogen, and then the color would appear to be blue or green. Although not pictured in this diagram, anthocyanin has resonant structures, which makes the energy levels closer together. This makes it easier for the color to change. 